question for you. If you have a 50% transparent layer in After Effects and you place another 50% transparent layer in front of it, what is the combined opacities of these two layers? Now, don't you dare open up After Effects and duplicate that layer twice and hover over the info panel because that's cheating. I want you to tell me what you think it's gonna be and the answer will be coming up after the title card. So I have a theory that most people, most After Effects artists probably didn't get the answer correct because their motion design is not compositors. And the real answer is 75% opacity. Why is it 75%? If you have 50% opacity layer and a 50% opacity layer in front of it, the contribution of the background layer is 50% times one minus the alpha of the foreground. So one minus 50% is 50% times by 50% is 25%. So we add the 25% contribution of the background layer and the 50% contribution of the foreground layer and that equals 75%. Why is that relevant? Well, the thing is, if we're mixing two semi-transparent keys in After Effects, the alphas aren't added together in the way that you might expect, as in 50% plus 50% equals 100%. That's wrong. That's not how alphas work in After Effects. So if you're mixing two semi-transparent areas, generally you'll get a halo where the two semi-transparent areas are sort of converge and you'll be getting the incorrect result. This is why we made key mix. Another reason that we made key mix is because you can't get the perfect key in one hit. You need to create many different keys around the different types of areas. So for example, if you've got, you're filming someone with blonde hair in front of a green screen, you'll probably need a special key just for the hair. You might need a separate key just for motion blurred areas or just for out of focus areas. So you've got multiple keys and you need to combine them together. That in After Effects is really, really either tricky or inconvenient. So here on the screen, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna be mixing the same keys in both, but on the left, I'm gonna be using key mix, and on the right, I'm gonna be doing it manually. And this is just so you can see how tedious uh, mixing them manually is and how quick it is using key mix. When I started my career, I wanted to be a compositor, so I was working a lot in Nuke. And I worked for a few years in Nuke and Nuke has a few extra tools, nodes. They have a node called the Key Mix node. And one day I was working on a job back in After Effects and I was like, I really wish there was a better way to mix these multiple keys that I have into one layer. I could do it manually and so I did it manually in After Effects but I thought there's gotta be a better way to mix these keys. And so that's when I thought I should make Key Mix. So I've got to admit, Keymix is definitely not one of our most popular plugins. And I think the reason for this is that Plugin Everything pretty much makes all these motion design tools and then all of a sudden, bam, here's this compositing plugin that no one asked for. But I think it is a really handy tool for compositing in After Effects. And uh, if you are doing keying, you really don't wanna be keying without Keymix because combining the keys manually, as I said, is just a real pain in the ass. So we experimented with a unique licensing system for Keymix. It's completely free and unwatermarked, but only if you're working at 720p. So you might be familiar with these licensing systems where you know it's like the student version, you can render 720p unwatermarked, but if you wanna render full HD, then you have to buy the license. So that was the first time we've um, done this licensing. And I think um, that's pretty popular because it allows you to use it on personal projects uh, without paying for it. But if you are using it commercially, you're probably gonna be working 1080p or larger. And so you'll have to buy the license. So uh, I guess to, cause this was released in, I think 2018. So I guess if there was an update, it should be the 1080p version is, no, the 4K has no watermark, but if you want to render 8K, then you have to buy the license. If you're working IMAX, 70 mil, then you've got to buy a license. But yeah, we're a bit behind the times here. So I'm curious, I want to know in the comment below how you guys mix keys without key mix, because um, maybe there's a better way. Maybe key mix didn't need to exist, but as far as I know, it's a real hassle. Let me know how you guys think key mix could be improved, because I think it's only up to version 1.1, 1 .1, um, maybe due to it not being so popular, but I think it is a really useful tool and there's a you know, a dedicated group of people who use Keymix every day. 
So yeah, let me know how it could be improved and don't send me a support ticket because, okay, if you're using the 720p unwatermarked one, you're not allowed to send me a support ticket. But if you bought it, then you can send me a support ticket. There, that's fair.